Alrighty, just quick little video on how to access um, the Xbox Game Pass in full screen on your Tesla. So what you're going to do, tap on here, click on browser, do I'm here, and the, the website, I've got it here, that's the website there, cinema.teslos.com.au, we go on to that one. Okay. Uh, click on full screen at the top of that and then now it's going to open up YouTube so YouTube app will open up and you'll now receive a prompt saying do you authorize to leave YouTube and go go to the website yep and now we've got full screen on this so to get the cloud gaming icon fitted there you'll need to tap on your left corner of the the, the toggles, click on other, and then scroll down the, oh, it's the second one from the top, Xbox Cloud Based Gaming. Pretty easy to find that one. Make sure that's selected. Now your next thing will be, click on the, uh, the Xbox icon, it will load up in a second. And what you want to do is just make sure that you are logged in. So tap on the little icon at the top there. Um, click on sign in. And now put your details in. I'll just pause this video and um, I'll put my stuff in. Let's see what happens. Sign in. Oh, it's already remembered me. Okay, so I didn't need to do anything. Um, very easy to do that. Uh, the next thing you'll need to do is if you're using an Xbox controller, um, make sure that you have a Type-C USB to USB. You can use it from the glove box down the bottom. If your car supports uh, the data connectivity, I believe from 2022 or 23 models onwards, something changed with the data module and the only way that you can get data working from plugging in a USB cable is if you use the one in your glove box. Um, but this vehicle that I'm in at the moment is a 2021, so it has the connectivity perfectly fine. Um, so we'll get a little USB here. I'll plug that into a controller. Hold on. All right, so that light's turned on now, and it rumbled. So we can test to see if it's working. Yep. Okay, so let's open up the Forza Motorsports one. Okay. And now you're going to be in the game in a moment. Um... One of the main steps that I'm pretty sure that I missed was um, you do need a Xbox um, Ultimate Game Pass to access cloud-based gaming. Without that, you won't you won't be able to do anything. It won't work. And so the game will come up. Obviously, you need to make sure your car's on Wi-Fi. Um, and obviously you need to make sure your connection is good as well. Otherwise you're going to see a lot of stuttering and stuff on the screen. Just going to shut the door here. So we go A to play. Go down to race. And go down to free play here. Go quick event. Go rent, <laughs> rent a car if you want to. But that way you can choose what it, whatever ones that you want. Lots of different cars. All right, let's go with this one. It looks cool. Okay, click on rent. Changing into that car, we'll do a circuit race, random, 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 yep.
Round Oak is 100% racer friendly. Each turn has some amount of banking to allow you to maximize your speed. So be on that throttle early and often. So you can just see how seamless this this is working. It's going to be hard for me to to play this game while I'm holding uh, a camera to record what we've got going in front of here, but you get the general idea. Also, we'll put it up a little bit in volume. Oh, this is Forza, so you can rewind that. I can fix it up. Um, no, we need to go back further. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. <laughs> It didn't fix anything for me. Okay. Alright, please don't judge my driving. I assure you I do better in real life. <laughs> also, I am only using one hand to do the controller. I think the vehicle that I'm on is also electric. <laughs> oh. It's too fast! Yeah, it's probably electric. <laughs> anyway, I pause this. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.